The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I thank the chairman. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 5. And let's get back to what we're talking about. We're talking about overregulation right now. We're not talking about the Red Army or any other type of a red threat that's coming in here. The real threat is red tape. Red tape. This is not talking about scotch tape or duct tape. We're talking about red tape. Two trillion dollars worth of red tape that the American taxpayers and the American consumers have to pay for every year. That's trillion with a T. Every single regulation that goes into effect, not by elected officials, but by unelected bureaucrats, I'm not saying they're not well intended. I'm just saying they're not well thought out. And we really don't know who's going to pay for all these. The burden is on the American consumer, the American taxpayers. So if we're talking about creating jobs, if we're talking about having our economy get back on track, why don't we get the heavy regulatory boot of the government off the throat of America's job creators? Why don't we make it easier for people to be profitable? Why don't we make it easier for people to start a new business? Why don't we make the prices cheaper on this shelf and, the, and, and all the services that are out there cheaper for Americans to, to, to buy and purchase? We get caught up in this some kind of a debate about things that don't even make sense to everyday Americans. They elect us to come and represent them. They don't elect us to come and preach to them. They don't elect us to come and say, you poor, poor, stupid people, you don't understand. We're trying to help you. The Congress has the oversight of this. This is our job. Why would we turn it over to unelected bureaucrats? How about this? We, in 2015, we passed 114 laws. Meanwhile, there were 3,410 rules that were put into effect. Is there a little bit of a problem with the balance there? Is there a little bit of a problem there with the people who sent us to represent them and saying, no, you don't understand. That rule, that regulation, I never had a chance to weigh in on it. And they're saying, then why the heck do we send you? And I appreciate the fact that federal employees need to be appreciated. Being one of those employees, I do appreciate that. When I go home, I love when people tell me, you know what? We really appreciate that you're standing up for us. We really appreciate it that you're watching where our tax dollars are going. We really appreciate the fact that you're trying to make it easier for us to breathe, make it easier for us to succeed, make it easier for us to supply all this revenue. Every single penny that this government needs to run on is not supplied by the Congress. It's supplied by hard-working American taxpayers. And you know what? We can't even collect enough money from them to cover our bills. We've got to go out and borrow more. But they're responsible for it. We sign their name on every single debt that we make. It is time to wake up and smell the coffee. This is not about some other debate. This is about what we're doing to hard-working American taxpayers and hard-working Americans every single day. And then we're saying, no, no, you don't understand, you poor, stupid people. You don't understand. We're trying to make the air clean, the water, drink, and everything else. Yes, I understand that. That's what we are doing. Why do you try to change it into something that doesn't even make sense? Please go back into your communities and talk to these folks that are saddled with these expenses and look them in the eye and tell them you're just not smart enough to know how well government works. The one thing they know is we're $20 trillion in the red. And there's Gentlemen's a big thank you note expired. coming from those same people. I thank you and I yield back. The gentleman.